Hello, hello, my friends. Happy Black Friday week at Diamond Art Club and welcome to my channel, Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie. And if you are new here, hello and welcome. I hope you'll consider subscribing for lots more diamond painting content. And if you are back, welcome back. You guys, this week has been just chock full of amazing releases from Diamond Art Club for Black Friday. They're gonna be releasing 100 kits uh, as part of their huge Black Friday week celebration. And there have been some real stunners that have been released so far. Feel free to check out the other sneak peeks I've done on my channel and stick around because I've got more to come. And um, check out my fellow content creators too because there's there's a lot. I'm just YouTube all day, every day watching <laughs> watching these sneak peeks and making my shopping list. But uh, this kit along with the other new releases for Black Friday have a different than usual release time. So they're going to be coming out at uh, 7 a.m. Pacific time, which is 10 a.m. Eastern time on Black Friday morning, which is this Friday, November 24th. If you are part of the diamond tier, now Ruby, I'm sorry, Ruby members are not included in the early release this time, but diamond tier gets an extra long early release window that actually starts the night before at 9 p.m. Pacific or 12 a.m. Eastern time. I'll pop a time zone converter down in the description box below, especially for my international friends. If you want to do the math and see what time that'll be for you guys. I think it might be the middle of the night for many of you, but um, if you wanna kind of count down to the actual diamond release time, I'm gonna be doing my third annual countdown live stream with my friends Jacqueline and Lindsay. It'll be here on my channel. We're gonna start about two hours before the diamond release time and would love to have you here. So I'll pop that link down below once I have that ready as well. The kit I have to share with you guys in this video is gonna be Somewhere Over the Rainbow by Maria Abagnal. And uh, I am so looking forward to getting to see this. This, this kit and all its vibrant colors. Uh, this is going to have round shaped diamonds and 22 by 31 inches or 55.8 by 78.7 centimeters. And I, I just, um, I, I really like her artwork. She used to be with a different company and I was really disappointed with how my kits from them turned out. And I'm just so happy she's with Diamond Art Club because they are totally doing her artwork justice. Now, uh, this kit, the, the box has pink branding with the kits that come with round shaped diamonds. Don't mind my my black cat uh, fur glitter there. <laughs> um, we have some info on the back about how to diamond paint as well as your kit contents. The side of the box does have a QR code with a discount code on there. And I will say though that most likely Diamond Art Club is gonna run an amazing Black Friday specific special. And that discount code tends to be the best discount code, the deepest discount the Diamond Art Club runs throughout the year. And so any discount codes that I mentioned in this video, I think are not gonna match <laughs> whatever that discount ends up being if I had to guess. I don't, we don't know yet though. We, you know, we never know. But if you happen to be watching this video in the future and you're thinking of making your very first purchase from Diamond Art Club, I do have a 20% off code you're welcome to use, which is uh, just my name, Katie, K-A-T-I-E and the number 20. But don't feel obligated whatsoever to use that. There are other discount codes you're gonna see in this video. And especially if you're shopping, on Black Friday, that probably that really probably is not gonna be your best best bet. But thank you in advance if you choose to use it. Uh, and that always goes straight back into my channel. So we're gonna take a look now at um, the, the toolkit that comes with your kit. And it is, it's a pretty solid toolkit, you guys, especially for a basic toolkit. Diamond Art Club does a nice job, I feel like. Um, there, I was gonna say, there's something else in here, I know it. <laughs> you are gonna get a, a pen and squishy. The color on these will vary, but I have to be honest, most of mine have been yellow lately. I'm not sure <laughs> if that's like a new thing or not. Um, but you're also gonna get some thin plastic multi-placers if you wanna try your hand at placing more than one diamond at a time. You could play, uh, pop those in the end of your pen. And then you're gonna get a caddy with a couple of plates of pink heart wax. Be sure you peel back the thin plastic film that's on there before you try to load up your pen, which I'm just really epically failing at trying to peel that back and show you guys. But it is on there and you can't load up your pen if it's there. Uh, you're also gonna get a tray, which has a removable stopper here that you can pop in so you can stop your diamonds from sliding out if you like. And then we've got a bag of baggies. You can uh, store your leftover diamonds in if you like. We also have a roll of washi tape. The print on this is gonna vary and I have a video dedicated to how, why, where, when. I suggest that you can use washi tape with your diamond paintings. So that'll be linked below along with some other helpful links if you are curious. You're also going to get a cover minder which has magnets on the back and you can use this to hold back the plastic cover of your diamond painting while you're working. The style on that will vary as well. Now you might notice if you've watched some of my other videos like where are the tweezers, um, 
Diamond Art Club only sends tweezers if your kit has square shaped diamonds and this one has rounds. Now we also get a smaller sticker here. Uh, I like to use this in my paper logbook once I start working on a kit. Some people like to put it on the side of the box to help organize their stash or you can find something else creative to do with it as well. I like that it has the original artwork and some of the, the stats on it. Everything else is gonna be included uh, here in this clear plastic bag or dust cover. And let's take a look at this beauty. Oh my gosh, those colors. <laughs> wow. Wow, she is a stunner. My goodness. Okay, so first things first, if you're noticing that your canvas wants to roll back in on itself, uh, you can either just leave it out for a bit because Diamond Art Club's canvases do have a self-flattening feature. It will lay flat on its own. If you want to move things along, you can just roll it back the opposite direction. This will not hurt the canvas or the glue. Uh, Diamond Art Club's canvas and glue quality is top notch. That's not gonna do, do any harm. But there we go, you guys. Wow, she's a stunner, those blues, my goodness. And I know a lot of people have been missing the round drill kits lately, so I'm excited that Diamond Art Club does have some round drill kits for us in this Black Friday release. We do have a bag of diamonds here. We will take a closer look at these in just a bit. But first, uh, this pamphlet's gonna have some helpful info in it. There's a thank you note from the founder, some info about what's included in your kit, a beginner video, which I have one as well that'll be linked below, um, a link to their VIP Facebook group, which you can join once you've made your first purchase, and it is a handy resource. Step-by-step -step instructions written out for you, as well as some tips and tricks here, another discount code, and Info about the mobile app, which you get 20% off your first purchase through the app, if you didn't know that. <laughs> and then we do have this larger sticker sheet, Somewhere Over the Rainbow by Maria Abanyal, and a spot to write your start and end date. Here's a look at that beautiful original artwork. It's so just bold and striking are the words that come to mind, especially with those vibrant colors. Here are the stats here, round shaped diamonds, the size. And then over here, you guys, we have a set of pre-cut sticker labels. Now um, with uh, the, the color codes you see here in the right hand column, these come from the DMC brand of Floss, the DMC color code system. Most diamond painting companies do use this. A couple of things to note with Diamond Art Club though. Anything under the number 150 is gonna be a special kind of drill called an AB. So we're gonna have four of those in this kit. We'll take a look at those later. Um, in addition, if you look at the very end, sometimes you will see some colors that have a letter at the beginning and this indicates another kind of special drill. In this case, the letter Z indicates that these will be fairy dust colors. We'll have two of those. Another thing worth noting is that with Diamond Art Club, just in the past month or two, they've started debuting some kits that have numbers in the 6,000 color range. Now, the 6,000s, that doesn't exist as a color range in DMC. However, with Diamond Art Club, since they make all of their diamonds in-house, they are able to create their own colors. And so they've actually started creating their own colors to fill the gaps that uh, the DMC color code system just doesn't offer. And this is right now just something that Diamond Art Club does. So this code 6012 is gonna be up, looks like a purple shade, which I, I know that purple is one of those colors that DMC has, you know, some gaps in as far as what they offer. So I'm excited to see where that's gonna be. <laughs> Let's take a look at the canvas. So up here at the top, we do have their branding, Do It Makes You Sparkle, Diamond Art Club. The edges of the canvas are scalloped and finished. You see some pokes here. You shouldn't have to worry about any fraying with your Diamond Art Club canvas. It's never been something I've, I've encountered with mine. The backing is really soft and plush in the material, the canvas itself. It's a nice, sturdy, kind of premium weight. Um, it's not, you know, too thin or too stiff or anything like that. It's just, I love their canvases. They're really nice to work on. And then uh, they have a poured glue that's really sticky on their canvases and has a little bit of a, a glitter to it even. <laughs> and then their, their drill field for round drills, you can see uh, they recent, they, they modified at these one point, maybe, maybe a year or two ago, where um, they used to have symbols that were white in the center, um, no matter what color was there. And then just to prevent, you know, any, <laughs> to try to help prevent with the, that white background showing around the diamonds when you place them, unless you place them perfectly. They changed this, this drill field a little bit. It almost looks like a square drill field, but if you look, you can see very faint little guide circles here to help you with placing your diamonds. 
We have a color list up here at the top left for our 52 colors, as well as down here at the bottom right. Then at the bottom left, we have a thumbnail of the original artwork and then the name and the size. And then of course, copyright. So Diamond Art Club does legally license all of their kits from their artists or licensing houses. And in this case, directly from the artist it looks like. And uh, so that means that the artist, Maria Avignal, has both given permission for the use of her artwork by Diamond Art Club and is being fairly compensated for it, which is really important to me because Art theft is unfortunately common in the crafting world, but I appreciate that Diamond Art Club does do right by their artists. Here are links to their socials, which you wanna be sure you're following there for all of the previews of the, the Black Friday kits that are going up. And then here's info on their lifetime warranty. As long as you are the original owner and purchaser of your kit, you're covered under that lifetime warranty, which includes things like if you run out of diamonds or have any trouble with the glue or the canvas, you can contact customer support. Now looking at this, the drill field looks to be printed really clearly. Again, you can kind of see sometimes those really, really faint guide circles. Um, here's a really good example, you guys. This is the ring on her finger. <laughs> and this is an example of what we call confetti. There's lots of color changes in a small area. And uh, it takes a little bit longer usually to do areas like this because you'll be changing out the color in your tray more often and probably doing some more single placing. But I am certainly seeing areas of color blocking as well, even these these sections right here and right here. That's color blocking is where you have a lot of the same color in a small area and you'll be able to use a multi-placer and have that color in your tray for a bit longer. And those tend to go a little bit faster. Look at the colors in her sunglasses, <laughs> like the crystal effect. <gasps> Stunning. You guys know those have got to be full of special drill colors, right? We will find out, but I would put money on it. <laughs> well, here's a really good example of color blocking her forehead. <laughs> So I do like a nice mix of confetti and color blocking in my canvases because confetti keeps it interesting, but color blocking keeps it moving. A little starfish in her hair and just these amazing blues in her hair as well, kind of going up here onto the beach. This just looks so good. Diamond Art Club hand renders their canvases, which means that, um, that there tends to be a bit of a clean and crisp rendering style because it really has had a lot of time from a human being put into rendering it and it really tends to pay off beautifully and so like I said I'm excited to see this artist with Diamond Art Club oh look at this crab so cute so cute there's actually a piece in particular I'm really hoping that we may get may get from them soon I have my fingers crossed but who knows <laughs> for now I love this one I feel like this is a really kind of classic like it's one of those pieces that I feel like it's easy to associate with this artist um and is just a real stunner I love the colors we're gonna do a quick measurement and see if we're looking true to size it looks like we're at about just a bit over 78 centimeters and we're listed as 78.7 and then this way we are at almost 56 centimeters and we're listed as uh, 55.8. So I'm gonna call that true to size. I give diamond painting companies usually a centimeter or two of wiggle room. So uh, she'll just hang out in the background. We gotta take a look at these diamonds together. There's that gorgeous color spread. There is a sticker on your pack of diamonds that tells you what kit these go with. So if you store these separate from the canvas outside the box they came in, you should be able to find them easily and match it up later. All right, there again, better look at those colors. I feel like it's been a minute since I've unboxed a round drill kit from Diamond Art Club. So this is actually gonna be kind of fun. So right, right here, right off the bat, you guys, we have our first special drill, Z959. Let me zoom you in, take a look. Ooh, I love this. This is a fairy dust color, you guys. Fairy dust diamonds from Diamond Art Club have this really pretty glitter coating painted on the top and they just have a beautiful shimmery effect that I feel like enhances the painting but isn't too in your face. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous effect. You can see that kind of shimmer. Love it. Uh, so we have the DMC code printed. Oops, let me zoom back out. Okay. We have the DMC code printed. Occasionally you'll have stragglers, yes. <laughs> On the bags, there's even a line under them so you can tell which way is up because there are some uh, DMC coats that they, you know, they're reversible. <laughs> 
Here we have our first AB color, 106. Now AB stands for Aurora Borealis. And just like the Northern Lights, these have a really shimmery kind of color shift effect. It's kind of iridescent there. It's nice coating this painted on the top and it is a little more eye catching than the fairy dust are. And it really highlights and enhances and draws your eye to the areas that it has been charted. So this one is a pretty ivory AB color. And yes, I am gonna go through the canvas with you guys and point out where we're going to find each of these special drill colors after we've actually looked at all the, all the colors here. So maybe a skin tone there. Ooh, look at this mint. Oh, I love that. Just the vibrancy in these colors is fantastic. It's so good, it's so good. All right, so we have, ooh, look at that red the blues and pinks. And here we've got our next AB color. Let's see, we had four in total. This is number two, uh, number 140. It's a nice blue AB, love that. And oop, here we go, back to back. Here are our other two AB colors. We have a nice pink magenta AB, 111. And then we have a yellow AB as well, 130. It's a little bit more subtle. My camera's right in the struggle bus today, okay. And then I think we'll have one more fairy dust in here too, but that we've seen all four ABs now. Gosh, these colors are so bright and amazing. This artwork calls for it. I think it's gonna be incredible. Here is our other fairy dust color. Let me see, yeah, two fairy dust colors. Z907, that's a nice lime green fairy dust. Ooh, love the glitter coating on those. That's a pretty effect, love it. Diamond Art Club's round drills, they're really faceted um, and have like just an overall really shimmery effect, I feel like. But no, no, they're more sparkly than or twinkly than they are shimmery, actually. I should I should take that back. Their square diamonds are more shimmery. I actually it's been a little while now. I think it was earlier this year. I did a comparison video uh, between a round and a square drill version of the same artwork from Diamond Art Club because some kits they do release in both drill shapes. This is not, well, I don't think this is one of them. I have a, I have, shoot, one of my Black Friday kits is, but I, ooh, I don't think it was this one. I'll be sure to make a note in the description box if it is gonna be available in both. But um, anyway, they're just, there is a slightly different effect, though the rendering is identical, if that's the case. So let's take a look and see where we're gonna find our special drill colors. So we had four ABs. We had the ivory AB, the pink AB, the yellow AB, and the blue AB. And then we had two fairy dust. We had a lime green fairy dust and a blue fairy dust. So let's start here at the bottom. And let me see what symbols I'm looking for. Okay, so down here in her hair, Already I see there's like a line of the blue fairy dust right here. And yeah, throughout her hair and some of these kind of lighter areas, there will sometimes be just like a line of the blue fairy dust it looks like. And then um, there's a lot going on. Okay, the jellyfish over here, you guys, the lines of, of white in the camera all the white and the jellyfish, including like in here and here and going around here. That is our kind of whitish ivory AB color. And then we also have our blue AB is these, these blue parts of the jellyfish here, including here and down here. And in her ring, we have the lime, there's so much you guys. Okay, so we have the lime green fairy dust is the plus symbol, the plus sign. Um, the number two is the pink AB. The number one is the ivory AB. The number three is the yellow AB. And then the number four is the blue AB. And then what is our, the, the letter P is the blue fairy dust, which you can kind of see here in her hair. We've got both, the blue AB, which is the number four, and then some of the blue fairy dust, which is the letter P. And then, let's see. I don't see any of the pink AB like in her lips. I kind of wondered if we would, but we check out her sunglasses, which have a similar effect to her ring. 
Again, I see the number four, which is the blue AB. The number two is the pink AB. The green plus sign is the green fairy dust. There's a ton of that. A ton of the pink AB too. And same thing over in this one. Chalk full of ABs and fairy dust, as they should be. As I was looking at the artwork, I thought, it's this, the glasses and the ring have got to have tons of special drills. They just have to. Look at all of these pink ABs. That's going to be amazing. And then if we hop over into her hair here, again, the letter P is fairy dust blue. The number four is AB blue. The fish has yellow ABs. Again, the number three. The number one is the ivory AB. Letter P is blue fairy dust. Ooh, lots of that here in her hair. Oops, sorry. And over here. The starfish doesn't have any special drills, it doesn't look like. But let's take a look. There's a, there's three of the ivory AB right here. <laughs> and then in her hair, again, I'm seeing the letter P from time to time there. That is our blue fairy dust. So it's just gonna give a little bit of shimmer. Oops, I keep hitting the camera, I'm so sorry. More fairy dust, some ivory AB here. Um, there's blue ABs here in the swirls as well as some blue fairy dust there. I'm gonna set this back down so you can kind of see it in perspective. That's her hair. We have some of the blue AB and blue fairy dust. That's gonna be a lot of her hair actually, <laughs> just sort of highlighting lightly. Um, this fish up here has tons of yellow ABs as well as some blue ABs. And um, the white you're seeing up here, actually any of the white you're seeing at all in her hair, and highlighting over here over the fish and the white sprinkled throughout the crab. You guys, that is all that ivory white AB color. And as, let me see, in the crab, do we have any other ABs? I don't, oh yeah, okay. The number two, so some of these like stones and shells, not really in the crab, but the number two is the pink magenta AB. And again, the number one you're seeing sprinkled throughout is the white ivory AB. The letter P, again, that is our blue fairy dust color. And the number four is our blue AB. The star, you guys, just so you know, that is our 6,000 range purple color that they added in. And I think that that's all of our special drill colors for the most part. It's possible I missed some, but that hopefully gives you a nice idea of what you can expect as far as the with special draw options in this one, but love it. I think that that is just gonna elevate this painting beautifully, particularly the special drills in her ring and in her glasses. Those needed to be full of special drills and Diamond Art Club did not disappoint from what it looks like. So um, just a quick recap. The name of this one is Somewhere Over the Rainbow. It's by Maria Abanyal and it has round drills. Mm -hmm. It comes with four ABs, two fairy dust and has 52 colors in total and this along with the other new releases are going to be coming out this friday november 24th 7 a.m pacific 10 a.m eastern that is the general release time and release time for everyone except the diamond tier the diamond tier does get an extra early release time beginning at 9 p.m pacific time on thursday november 23rd that is midnight eastern time which is technically friday and uh, like i said i'm going to be doing a countdown live again with my friends lindsay and Jacqueline here on my channel starting about two hours before that diamond release time feel free to come hang out we'd love to just ring in Black Friday with you all so um, let me know what you guys think is this one gonna make your shopping list I know I gotta go keep working on my shopping list for the weekend be sure you're checking out the other sneak peeks from my fellow fabulous content creators uh, this week I know there's a lot going on but uh, telling you what like I said Diamond Art Club is pulling out all the stops and has some gorgeous kits coming so Anyway, you guys, feel free to subscribe if you want to stay up to date with my other sneak peeks this week, as well as all the diamond painting content that I put out, even when it's not Black Friday week. I'd love to have you here. I hope to see you Thursday. And thanks so much for watching. And thanks to Diamond Art Club for sending this over. All right, you guys have a wonderful holiday week and I will chat with you in the next one. Bye.